Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly Ishmael, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how I use the transform tools in Lightroom to help me correct what is known as perspective distortion. Line is an important compositional element in a photograph because of the way it can create a sense of movement or direct the viewer's eye towards the focal point. Sometimes, though, the lines in our photos that are supposed to be straight, either vertically or horizontally, they can get a little wonky due to what is called perspective distortion. And while that's something that's often pretty subtle or I mean, sometimes even unnoticeable, it can give the viewer a feeling that something is off, using my air quotes here, in an otherwise great photo. Now, there are some things that we can do to combat this issue, such as keeping our cameras perfectly level and parallel. But even then, sometimes it's just unavoid unavoidable uh, due to our perspective or our position relative to the subject. But thankfully, uh, Lightroom has some tools in the transform panel, and uh, that's what I'm going to show you today. So I've gone ahead and done all of the major adjustments in my photos and all of the post-processing work and my presets and um, all of that. I've gone ahead and done all of that um, so we can just get to the good part, I guess you could say. Um, in my previous videos, you can see my start to finish editing processes and how I choose presets or profiles. So feel free to go back and look at some of those. In this one, we're just going to talk about the uh, transform tool, keep it short and sweet and to the point. Okay, in this photo, um, a simple photo, some flowers that I have on the uh, window ledge in my uh, dining room. And um, this has a pretty strong vertical line and a pretty uh, strong kind of diagonal line. And like I said in the beginning, lines are really great for creating movement within a photo and also um, they can tell the viewer's eye where to look. So for instance, in this photo, the uh, diagonal line and the vertical line intersect, and that's where I placed my photo. So that's kind of a um, subconscious way of telling the viewer, this is what I want you to look at. The issue in this photo is that this line that is vertical, at least in my house, or mostly vertical, I live in a really old house, but you know what I mean. It's supposed to be vertical, and you can tell here, especially on this uh, far left area, it is absolutely not vertical. Now, the tools in the transform panel, um, they are great for dealing with issues like that, like this, and there are a few different ways to go about the same thing. So for this uh, image in particular, um, I want to address the vertical lines. And if I come over to the transform panel, there is an option here for um, addressing vertical lines. And I can just click on this button and it will automatically straighten my image there. I think you can see that here it is before and here it is after. And that just feels more right to me, I guess you could say. It just feels less wonky, using a very technical term. So that is one way you could do it. Let me turn it off and show you another way. Another option in the transform panel that usually works pretty well for me is to just click on this auto button. And that will usually um, get me to that same place and kind of get those lines straightened up. So. There, it just feels so much more right, I guess you could say. So um, that, is, that is one way to deal with lines in a photo. In this example, I just have a simple flat lay of garden roses from earlier this spring, and I've just laid them out on a board that my husband made for me out of some old uh, wooden fence pickets. And they are generally pretty level. It's pretty even, and it's pretty straight in terms of being connected at right angles to each other, if that makes sense. And I also uh, used my overhead camera holder. It's not a tripod, but it uh, I can connect my camera to it it attaches to the side of my table and uh, hangs over 
the surface so that I can make my camera straight and level and parallel. So this is my best effort then to get the image as straight as possible using the equipment that I have. And you can see that it's really fairly straight unless you look down at this bottom right corner. And it's, it's still pretty subtle. Um, that's typically also where distortion happens is on the edges or around the perimeter of your photo. So um, I can also use the transform panel in a situation like this. Now, typically, if I'm just going through my um, uh, post-processing, the first thing that I do is I will just try this auto button. And oftentimes it does the job for me in just one click and I'm good to go on to the next photo. So let me go ahead and click on this auto button. And this is one example where it doesn't really work that well for me. Uh, you can see the distortion seems even a little bit more off down in this bottom right corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. So another option that we have for kind of straightening up or re removing some of this distortion are these sliders here, these transform sliders. And by moving the slider to the left or the right, it's sort of like a visual tilt, if that makes any sense. And so I am going to use the vertical option because the strong lines in my um, uh, board here are vertical lines. And watch what happens when I move it to the slider to the right or left. So I'm going to start by moving it to the right. And do you see how just a very small movement seemed to have tilted the board back a little bit? And by doing that, now this spacing along the side between this, this major gap here and the edge of my photo, it just feels more straight. It just seems to be less distorted. So here it is before that correction, and here it is ap after. And just like that, this strong visual line along the right side of my photo just appears to be straighter and makes the photo feel a little less off, which is what I was going for. So these are two ways to deal with some of the uh, perspective distortion that can happen in a photo, despite our best efforts to try to keep our cameras level and straight and parallel. Um, so Lightroom, once again, coming to the rescue for um, solving these kind of problems, a problem sometimes we don't even really know we have until you see it corrected. So I hope this helped you or will give you some more tools in your toolbox as you are going through your post-processing. And as always, if you have any questions or um, I can help you with anything else, please let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching.